Here's a trick my grandmother showed me when I was younger. If the water's not reaching the top of the tree, put your thumb in front of it. The water shoots up. That's actually because of fluid dynamics. Hello, my name is Kenzie Muhammad, and today I'll be talking to you about fluid dynamics. So, our guiding question for today is, why does water from a hose flow faster when you hold your finger in front of the hose? Doesn't the extra velocity imply added kinetic energy? Well, we've talked about the law of conservation of energy before, which states that in a closed system, the total, to the total energy remains constant. That means that you cannot remove or add any extra energy. So let's talk about the law of conservation of energy with, spe with specifically towards fluids. And here's a heads up, we're talking about ideal fluids the entire time. That means that we're assuming all fluids are incompressible, lam they have laminar flow, no, and no viscosity. So we're in a theoretical world right now. So to start, let's introduce the, continu the continuity equation, which states that the cross-sectional area, the initial cross-sectional area, times the initial velocity needs to equal to the final cross-sectional area and the final uh, velocity. So let's apply that to what I did with the hose. The initial cross-sectional area is just the normal hose with the, with the normal velocity of the water coming out of the hose. When I put my finger in front of the hose, I decreased the cross-sectional area, which increases the velocity because you need to balance the equation. Here's a very similar situation where we're decreasing the cross-sectional area. So if you can see A1, the cross -sectional area, this cross-sectional area, is less than A2, this cross-sectional area. And that means that V1, the velocity, the final velocity, is going to be um, greater than the, than the initial velocity because of the continuity equation. Now let's talk about Bernoulli's equation. It looks complicated at first, but it's actually not that complicated. It's the same thing, the law of conservation of energy for fluids. So P1 is pressure energy, and then we multiply, we add that to potential energy. And, and if you look at that equation, it looks a lot like MGH, which is the potential energy equation. And then we add that to kinetic energy, and that also looks like a lot like one half mv squared. The reason that they look different is because we use density uh, instead of mass for fluids, just because it's easier that way. And Bernoulli's equation clearly shows that these initial energies need to be equal to the final energies because of the law of conservation of energy. So going back to the case of decreasing um, the cross-sectional area, that we know that that increases the velocity. So first of all, let's look at our equation. We see that the initial and final heights are the same. So we can ignore potential energy for this, uh, for this instance. Rewrite the equation, and the equation looks like that. So we know that the velocity increases, the final velocity increases. That means that the initial velocity is less. Now, to balance the equation, that implies that the final pressure needs to decrease and the initial pressure increases. What does that tell us? It tells us that when the velocity increases, the pressure on the sides of a pipe actually decreases. Here's a more uh, detailed view of the data of a very similar situation. So here we have a pipe. And this cross-sectional area is less, which means that the velocity is more, as we talked about. So the velocity here is 6.4 meters per second. The velocity here is 1.6 meters per second. And we can see that the pressure is let, uh, is increases where, um, actually decreases where the velocity increases. So we're at 6.4 meters per second. The pressure is 103.6 kilopascals. In comparison, where the speed is lower at 1.6 meters per second, the pressure is higher at 120.6 kilopascals. So, to quickly review, we learned that water from a hose flows faster when you hold your finger in front of the hose because decreasing the cross-sectional area increases velocity according to the continuity equation. 
We also learned that that relates back to the law of conservation of energy. And we learned that Bernoulli's equation tells us that the increased velocity decreases the pressure on the walls of a pipe so that energy is conserved. Thank you very much for listening.